guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm the crochet designer slash business strategist here behind A Crafty Concept. On this channel, I provide free crochet patterns and business tips to help crocheters start and grow the crochet business of their dreams. In this video, we're gonna do something new today and I want to share a recent blog post that I did with you guys of 18 free crochet patterns that would make excellent Easter gifts for children. Before we get started, I want to give a special shout out to this video's coffee sponsor. This video's coffee sponsor is Samantha and she says, Hi Ashley, thank you for all the content you put out to help us. You are so kind and helpful. Oh, and a rock star. Thank you so much, Samantha. I appreciate you. I appreciate your donation and I appreciate your very, very kind words of encouragement. Every single one of these donations help me continue to get to do what I love here on this channel, which is provide free crochet pattern and business tips for everyone watching. And if you would like to support the channel, you can go to acraftyconcept.com forward slash coffee to buy me a cup of coffee. All of the patterns I mentioned in today's video are free and I will put a link down below to the pattern roundup that has all of the links there for you for your convenience. Now let's go ahead and jump into the video and look at all these adorable free crochet patterns you can make and market to your audience as excellent Easter gifts for kids. Very specific. The first thing on the list is the bunny backpack by yours truly. This is a free crochet pattern. My original backpack pattern was the dinosaur backpack that I designed back in 2019 and I have been creating modifications for that pattern ever since. We now have the shark backpack, the witch backpack, the candy corn backpack, the dinosaur backpack, and now the bunny backpack. And yes, I do have more backpack modifications planned for 2023, so stay tuned for that. This pattern is perfect for kids of any ages, toddler up to elementary school age, even older if you've got like a quirky fun loving teen on your hands. They would be perfect for Easter egg hunting. The kids can put them in their backpack instead of a basket. They're also very great for letting kids carry their own necessities when going to do things throughout the day throughout the spring. I absolutely love the little bunny cottontail on the back. I think that adds a precious, precious touch. Next up on the list, we have this adorable bunny hat by Make and Do Crew. This is absolutely precious. I love how she's got it pictured on a baby, but you could also put this on a toddler or a young elementary age kids. It's great for Easter photos or just wearing on those chilly spring days when it's not quite warm yet, but it's not quite cold anymore, but you still want to protect your kids' ears. Kids can wear these all spring long and they would be perfect Easter basket fillers. The third pattern on this roundup is the Ava Bunny, again by yours truly. I designed this pattern back in 2015 for my daughter who is now almost eight years old. The Ava Bunny is named after her. You can hear the whole story about the Ava Bunny and how it was designed and see my original sketches from back in the day over in the Ava Bunny blog post. This is a very simple, easy to make amigurumi pattern. It's perfect for beginners. All you gotta do is sew on the ears and everything else is made in one piece. I used safety eyes and a safety nose for this guy and embroidered the mouth. You can also make an Ava bunny using different yarns. Here is one I made using blanket yarn. He is a massive jumbo Ava bunny. Very squishy, very fun. I love him. I also made an Ava bunny using some Chanel yarn and I gave him droopy ears instead of stand up ears like these. Let me show them to you. I just finished this guy very recently. I'm extremely happy with how he turned out. His big droopy ears and big old kawaii eyes just steal my heart. Isn't he adorable? This pattern isn't available, but you can easily modify the first one just by making it a little bit longer and then sewing it on this way instead of this way. Very simple modification. For the Ava Bunny, we have an adorable Easter basket pattern by Craft Bits. This would be so fun to have on Easter morning and filled with different candies or small treats. And it would be special because it was handmade. You can market this product as an Easter basket your customers could use every year to fill with Easter treats for Easter morning. It'd also be really cute for Easter egg hunting or to maybe pack some goodies in when you're out and about running errands throughout the day and your kid needs to have some of their stuff with them to keep them occupied. So these are all different ways that you could market this basket to your ideal customer. 
Next, we have the Crafty Boho Bunny Slippers by yours truly. This is one of my favorite patterns I have ever put out. It is the Crafty Boho Slippers pattern, but I added ears, and you can also add a little bunny tail to the back if you want to as well. These ones are so stinking cute. I love the white that I have. They would also be beautiful in a gray or a tan or a brown, even a black. These are super duper cute. You can find this pattern on my blog in sizes toddler all the way up through men's and there's easy modifications to make in between sizes if you need to. Next up, we have an adorable amigurumi chicken from the Loopy Lamb. How precious is this? This is made with faux fur yarn, and then it has all the different pieces attached to it to make it look like a chicken. This would be perfect as an Easter basket filler because it's small and easy to make and quick to make, so you could sell a bunch of them. You could also market these as really good Easter gifts for your idol customers friends and classmates, right? You could crank these out. You could sell them in a bundle of 15 or 20 and they could gift them to their child's classmates this year for Easter. They would also make great gifts to take to kids at church or for teachers to hand out to their, their students as well. So since this is such an easy fast make, you could promote them in bundles or they're also super great just one on their own so gives you two ways to market them to your idol customer and hopefully this is a hot item for you next we have this adorable corner to corner blanket by make and do crew i love how she made it in a plaid but non-traditional plaid colors and you could easily make a blues one to market to boy moms or a pinks one to market to girl moms or a neutral with like creams and tans to be gender neutral those would be beautiful these would be great babies first easter gifts or easter gifts to babies or even one-year-olds they can have this blanket and cherish it forever next up we have this adorable amigurumi bunny this was guest posted on my blog by my friend Sarah of Sarah D Crochets. She included the bunny and the carrot, and she also took the carrot and turned it into a carrot garland. Let me show you that. This is perfect as decor for Easter. If your ideal customer likes to decorate her home for different seasons, this would be perfect. They would also be good for like kids room decor if she decorated her kids room for different seasons, or I could see these on a mantle over her fireplace or hanging all over one of her coffee. If your ideal customer has a coffee tray situation in her kitchen, this would be absolutely adorable. This would also be great just for you to use as photography props for the whole spring season. So you definitely wanna check out this pattern over on my blog by Sarah D of Sarah D Crochets. And it comes with this adorable pattern as well. How cute is he? He reminds me of Peter Rabbit. You could gift this guy with a cute Peter Rabbit or Easter book, make it a whole set, a whole thing, and it would be an adorable Easter gift for anybody on any child, any child of any age. Next up, we have this adorable bunny bag by Crocheted Simplicity. This would be the perfect bag to carry a child's goodies with them all spring long. They could keep a pack of crowns in there, a small notebook, little trinkets and puzzles and fidget toys. They could keep them in their bunny bag and carry it with them when you're running errands, taking long car rides, hanging out at church, going grocery shopping, and they're hanging out in the buggy and they need something to do. This would be a great way to make them feel grown and just like mommy by carrying carrying their own bag, but it's Easter specific and spring specific, so you can easily market them as Easter gifts to your ideal customer. Up next, we have an adorable Bunny Lovey by Nicole Chase. This one, again, would be perfect for babies. So babies first Easter or maybe even one-year-olds or small toddlers, they would love this lovey blanket. You could put a rattle noisemaker in the head of the bunny. So then when the baby shakes it, it will make noise. These are perfect for comfort toys of babies so they have something to carry with them to make them feel safe. They're great for long car rides or taking to daycare. So they always feel safe and comforted because they have something from home that they can carry around with them. Hopefully this would be something that your ideal customers kids will treasure for the rest of their lives it would be something very special to them you can get creative with the different colors making them very spring appropriate and they would be sure to sell if you sell baby things in your shop this is definitely a very good possibility for easter next up is a classic easter make crochet bunny peeps 
These would be perfect Easter gifts for kids of any age because the older kids are going to realize that it's the, also the, the treat and the younger kids are just gonna see a soft, squishy bunny that they love. So these are gonna be perfect for kids of any age. You can absolutely make these in different colors and different yarns. This one looks like they were made with Chanel yarn, but you could also use blanket yarn or even velvet yarn to make them really squishy and soft and cuddly. You could go with some traditional Peeps colors like pink and yellow and make them all about the special treat that a lot of people get at Easter time. Next on the list, we have another baby make. This is an adorable faux fur bunny lovey, and it was guest posted by my friend Emily of Sweet Creek Patterns over on the ACC blog. How cute and snuggly is this? This thing is so soft and flexible. It is not stiff. It is cozy. It is warm. Tiny baby could put it on their lap for warmth. They could snuggle it and hold it and carry it with them while they're sucking their thumb and looking so freaking cute on Easter morning. This would be so cute popping its little head out of an Easter basket and look at his little bunny tail. I am obsessed with this guy, hands down. If you love using faux fur yarn, this is gonna be the pattern for you. Definitely check this one out. Next up, we have a carrot baby rattle by Make and Do Crew. This one is perfect, again, for babies or a little bit older, like maybe young toddlers that are teething. They can carry this around because they might not be old enough to eat actual carrots or actual Easter food at your idol customers' family Easter get-togethers, but they can still celebrate by holding their Easter carrot rattle and shaking it, and it, they would just love it. It would be a very fun toy for them, so it would be a very cute Easter gift for babies sticking out of their Easter basket looking like a little, like a little real carrot. That is super cute. People would love this. If you sell baby things, definitely market these to your idol customer for Easter. Number 14 on our list of 18 is the Spring Chick Bag by Jen Hayes Creations. This is one of the patterns that are perfect for any age. You can market this to parents of older kids because they could put some Easter treats in there like lip gloss or fingernail polish. And you can also market it to younger kids because you could put any, any type of gift in there. Little rattles or passies or anything, small treats like candies or custom crowns, anything that you purchase, even as, as nice as jewelry if you bought for like your older teen kids, something like that. They could all fit in this bag to be seasonally appropriate, super fun and festive, but also make sense to whoever your ideal customer is. This is one that would work for anybody who sells kid things, no matter which age of kids that they market to. Number 15 is the Snuggle Bunny by Nicole Chase. This one is just adorable. It's a, it's a simple little bunny stuffy that would be so perfect as an Easter basket filler sticking out of the Easter basket. You could market this to your customers as a non-sweet alternative. So maybe your ideal customer doesn't wanna fill their kid's Easter basket with a bunch of sweet treats. This is a gift that they could do instead that's not a sweet treat, but still festive, still Eastery, and still something that a child would enjoy. I think you could easily market this one as perfect for gifting with an Easter book or maybe an Easter coloring book, something like that. It would be a great way to market this bunny stuffy. We have two more free crochet patterns on this Easter kids gift roundup. Second to last is a, a bumblebee stacking toy by Elisa's Crochet. How cute is this bee stacking toy? Babies and toddlers can take it apart and put it back together. You can market this to your idle customer as a great learning toy to teach babies fine motor skills and problem solving skills and thinking skills. Also, it's seasonally appropriate because it's a bumblebee, so it's very spring, very cute, would be precious inside of an Easter basket. They could even put it in the Easter basket apart with all the pieces apart so then the child has to put it together to see what it looks like when it's finished, giving it a little bit of a mystery depending upon the age of the child. This one is excellent if you have an audience that has younger kids. And last but certainly not least, we have the Doxy Chicken. This one is another one of my free crochet patterns on a craftyconcept.com. This chicken was named after my great grandmother, Doxy, who used to always have chickens on her farm. How cute is he? Again, very, very simple. The only thing that you have to sew on is the little head things and then you attach this beak by whip stitching it onto very flat, very easy, very simple. This is a great beginner project if you've never made amigurumi things. Chickens are all the rage right now. 
Everybody loves chickens. Everybody has started raising chickens at their home. So this would be a really good gift for kids of any ages up through elementary school, I would say. And you can get creative with the different colors that you use. You can make a tan chicken, a brown chicken, or my favorite, the black and white blended chickens that kind of look like cookies and cream ice cream. You could even use faux fur yarn to make a furry chicken. You could definitely, definitely get creative with these. This would be super, super fun sticking out of an Easter basket on Easter morning. So that's it for the 18 free crochet patterns that would make excellent Easter gifts for children in 2023. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will be happy to answer them for you. I hope you get lots of sales this Easter and are able to make lots and lots of monies and turn those customers into true fans of your brand so they follow you on social media, they sign up to your email list, and they shop with you again and again and again. If you like this type of content, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to do more roundup style videos for you guys throughout 2023. And if you want to be certain that you don't miss a single free crochet pattern or business tip tutorial, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you will get notified anytime a new video goes live on this channel. I try very hard to post videos every Monday and every Friday, but sometimes we miss and sometimes we throw in extra ones. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit exciting right? You never know what you're going to get, but we do try to aim for Mondays and Fridays, so you can keep that in your mind as well. That's all I have for you today, friends. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you have an amazing day, a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video.